Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to another episode of Not Too Comic Book. This being a show where we talk about TV shows that are adaptations of comic books. For today's episode, I'm gonna talk about Sweet Combat Season One, Episode Nine. A lot of really interesting, a lot of really interesting things went down in this episode. So let's break it down. Well, first and foremost, I'm gonna start off with Guanyan and his boxing club, and obviously he's kind of chastising, you know. Uh, Chien, um, Yi Chien, just because it's like, I know you had to have something to do with, like, why, um, yes, like, um, Tian, like, like, stormed in here, but he had a reason, because I've seen it twice already, I've seen how you treat him, and act the that is so interesting that Zhao Feng would stick up with him, even though Guan Yan is like, yo, I've seen this dude act like this, it's kind of shameful, but now, like, it becomes this debate on, well, why are you, like, aren't you a student at this school? Why are you backing them up? But for him, it's like, like, I, as because I'm a member of this school and because I'm a part of this Boston club as its captain, like, we have to, like, show honor and, like, you, like, someone like Yi Chin, like, disgraces us with, with his behavior. And then Zhao Feng kind of turns it around on him and says, like, right, you're the one that's learning from uh Yanan's dad because now she's making it like oh like of course you're going to side with them in this situation because it's like we're not the ones even though they are the wrongs in the wrong like this all started because of Yi Chen and even uh Zhao Feng will probably say like right if he hadn't come Tian had come storming in here I wouldn't have had to beat the crap out of him but it's like none of them are willing to take any responsibility especially Yi Chen because he doesn't want to lose where he's at because it makes him feel powerful like that's once again why he feels the need to pick on Tian because Tian never like fights him back and it makes him feel powerful it makes him feel better about himself you know that's what he felt being in that boxing club and so he doesn't want to lose that but like Guan Yan had told you like what was going to happen but you thought you were sneaky you thought you would get away from it but now you're trying to double down being like I had nothing to do with it he's crazy he's making stuff up you know and the sad thing is Zhao Feng is like taking his side but it's also she's got personal beef with Guan Yan now because it's like it's it's I think it's because they go to rival schools and but it's also like the element of rather than be hanging out with me going to this movie like I wanted to not only did I catch you hanging out with um catch you hanging out with Yanan you also said that you were going to go to the movies with her too it's like that's a little extra bit of dialogue of like yeah that that stings a little bit but so because of that the entire like club is kind of divided like majority of its members go and leave with um her because they're telling her like either like you stay with this club or you back away because you're not in a position to be captain but he's like doesn't matter who i trained under because he's like i'm not going to lose like i'm not going to stop training nor am i going to walk away from this club like I, I i don't have a guilty conscience about anything he shouldn't it's not like he's doing anything wrong he's not actively training with um well he kind of is with yana now but it's not i mean that was just them running they weren't even actually boxing or anything anything he hasn't even quite learned anything from her dad yet because he's also like in the middle of just hanging around her he wants to be around her because he likes her so until like you know he and he's not in a position where he needs to tell and tell anyone how he feels and why he wants to be around yana it's like i like her like you know but it shouldn't be anyone's business what he does you know and it has because it hasn't impeded my leadership role as captain of this you know boxing team uh club and so majority of the team leads i think there's only like what four people that stay behind so we'll see if that number changes but yeah like chien goes off with Zhao Feng, as long like I said, with most of the people. So Guan Yang is kind of put in a very compromised position. Once again, I think that that's such an interesting complication making the Zhao Feng situation be what it is. Where like, right, she likes him, but he likes Yanan instead, and that comes with its own complications that is kind of rippled out to this. I'm sure it's not the only thing, but it does like her feelings for him does play a role in why she like has why it's even more. Uh, salt in the wound with the whole Yanan of it all so there's just kind of an interesting development I'm curious to kind of see that continue on and what that means for that for that storyline but uh back to where the episode ended last episode with um our quartet uh Obviously, everyone made their feelings perfectly clear, and I didn't talk about this last episode, but with the, there was that line, those lines of dialogue I forgot to talk about from Queen, where it was about, like, right, the fighting spirit here isn't just about being able to fight to protect ourselves, but, like, if we can't even protect others, then, you know, like, what's the point? 
you know, protecting the people we love. And it's like, all right, so Tion, you've heard what the other three have said. They're willing to like stand up for you. What are you going to say in return? And for him, it's like, let me stay. I don't want to leave. And it's like, really? You wanted to transfer before? It's like, because I thought that as long as I kept my head down, as long as I took whatever blows were coming my way, it was fine. But he's like, I can't go through life that way because me just taking it on the chin didn't do anything. It, like that trouble still found its way to my siblings. And I want to be strong enough that I can protect them. I also want to be a big brother that they can look up to and be proud of. So give me a chance to stay here. And the principal's like, all right, like he's he's happy about that because all like it's like yeah, some circumstances happen, but he's like yeah, I'm gonna talk to the the president of the other college and we'll, we'll figure it out. He even said like right, we haven't really had a chance to meet up since both of us founded our respective schools, which they did have a very like mystical like two shifus meeting type of situation where like the wind was passing by them back and forth. It said our, our master, so I guess like they both studied under the same person because. Uh, the one from uh, Tian and them's college is the senior, whereas the one from Guanyan and them's college is the junior. So they kind of it's interesting that they are, their schools are rivals, and they also potentially, based on what they were saying, studied under the same person. So it's about like, well, how do we handle this like age old conflict? It's like, well, let's put this to an end. Like our you know our kids, they can learn from each other and grow from this. And even when they were walking away from each other, was that my imagination when like the wind was forming around that area? I'm like. Was that some, it looked like that was kind of supposed to be yin like a, a yin yang symbol in there because there was like the larger circle and there were like smaller or well, big like smaller circles in certain positions. I'm like that looks like that's supposed to be the 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 yin yang symbol, but I wasn't sure if I was just reading too much into that. It was like once again I love that like the mysticism there because once again like there's no like supernatural element to like the actual i don't know if that was just supposed to be like metaphorical or legit you know but it's like there's nothing like mysticism like that in the the webtoon yes yeah, like i said it's like it's it's like hot i think like at like anime slash manga manhwa action where it's just like yes it's hyperbolized and stuff like that you know but you know comic action essentially but there's nothing like supernatural so it's like for them they kind of thought that in it was just interesting like i said like two like shifu's like crossing paths and stuff like that I, I think the end result was like going back to what uh uh what the president actually said i think he told tion like hey as long as you the better you do in the preliminaries the better it will reflect on his decision on how to really handle tion's situation go for it. it's like i'm gonna give you a chance to like prove yourself in the preliminaries so they're going to continue their training with everyone helping him out um, he has his one-on-one -on -one with Queen where he wants to thank her, but she's like, I, I didn't do it. She's like, I, I don't like you. That's not why I did it. She's like, you're a valuable asset to this college. So that, that's what, that's why I did it. Yeah, don't think of anything of it. He's like, hey, well, yeah, like it never crossed my mind. And the moment he said that, you saw the look on her face. I was like, that's all she focused on. And she's like, oh, so it never crossed his mind. And for her, it's like, well, this is good. Now that I've got that clear, like he, it never crossed his mind. Like, of course he doesn't feel that way about me. It's like, I guess in her own way, that was somewhat the test, uh, the, the request. No, because it's like, she still didn't do what Chun, um, Chun Wai had told her, like, right, do the request and see how he performs it. And maybe that'll give you a clear answer. Still hasn't really properly come up, but when it's all said and done, it's just like for her, it's like, right, I'll accept our relationship, whatever it may be, I'll accept it as, you know, it is what it is. So it's kind of sad because it's like, once again, it's like, he's only saying that because he's responding to you because you're like, right, first, because he keeps, because she still doesn't know that last episode, he overheard a conversation with Yanan of like, oh, I don't, what would there to be like about T uh, Tian? And it's like hearing that and it's like, uh, once again, uh, like, of course, you don't lack anything, and it never crossed my mind, like, right, I shouldn't even be thinking of it possible, that you, uh, you know, because you like me, there's there's no way you would, you know, so it, it's kind of sad, and it's like, once again, he only said that in response to what she said, because he's like, for a moment, it's almost like, a, maybe there's some, oh, never mind, it's like, I'm getting my hopes up, like, deluding myself into believing there's something here when there isn't, when in actuality, there is, it's just, you're both misunderstanding each other, it's, you know, once again, it's, it's very much in the same vein as the webtoon where you're just like, oh, you two are so frustrating because it's super obvious to anyone else that you like each other, but you both are so awkward and it's it's something new and, and complicated that you don't really know how to really handle it. Like, they, neither one of them really has any, like, proper, non-complicated experience with liking someone and being upfront with your feelings, you know? 
But then like later that day, all of them are over there at Tian's place and they're, you know, uh, Zhao Mi is watching him cook and she's like obsessed with him. Like, oh, he's the perfect husband. I mean, perfect junior. And she's just staring and smiling. He's like nervous, uh, being like, I just, uh, you know. And she's even joking at one point, and I'm sure she was partly serious about like, you know, I could cook for you. She's like, in fact, I can move in. And it's like, wait, what? And you have you, uh, you know, I'm being like, yo, like, are you, if she's over there, like, relentless. Like, if you don't make a move, nothing's going to happen. It's like, and for her, it's like, no, like, whatever our relationship is, it is what it is. You know, and Yanan's like, what? She's like, nothing. It's like, oh, God, you know, but it's just like, she's like, right, I can't, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to like, you know, it's like it's not my business kind of like yeah like Zhao Mi like say what she wants it's like obviously she likes him and it's like I, there's no like anything between me and him anyway so it's fine even though like it severely bothers her I, I skipped over the part where Yanan had gotten run into uh, uh, Chan Hua and I love the whole like she just slides in a frame and then slides out I love that whole bit but it's like yeah she comes up the at her and Yanan is like oh like has your like my, you know, the advice we, I gave you last episode and it's like what? What are you talking about? And she reported that to Queen, and Queen was like spitting out her drink. I love that whole thing because it's also like there's truth to what she was saying. It's like, oh, like basically, it's like, oh, you'll never get rid of him in this life or something like that. And I don't think Queen's really latching on to that. It just kind of she's like, okay, let's shift the conversation. I also appreciate the fact is once she got the the cup from um from Tian's little sister she immediately drinks from it and everyone's like whoa and she's like yeah this kind of nothing but we see that she was practicing hard and being like oh yeah this isn't too hard so she actually trained and she was impressed with herself like yeah I did it it was like it's not that big of an accomplishment but in Queen's world it kind of is so I thought that was uh, kind of cute but she's like can casually drink from the cup without any issue I didn't realize that was what her issue was like that episode I didn't realize it's like because I didn't even notice like the crack in the, like the chip in the cup it's like that was what her biggest issue was you know, but now it's like, yeah, she's gotten over that, so. That conversation again about just, like, how much Queen has changed, which ends up, you know, uh, peripherating throughout the episode, too, because her and her brother go to that meeting, and it's very similar to the webtoon. Uh, it's it's pretty much the same, of like, with some alterations, because, like, an employee kind of goes, oh, my God, they're, like, super young, and then Queen, like, goes, like, hey, like, we might be young, but, like, my brother, he's been kind of raised in this from a very young age, and he's, you know, never had much of, a, like, a normal childhood, but, like, he's done what he's done, and he should be applauded for, like, the fact is that he's continued to do stuff despite being young. Like, his being young doesn't take away from the fact is that he has had years and years of experience of this whole thing. Because the thing that's missing from this is in the webtoon, that particular worker also makes a comment about Queen's hair of like how messy it is. And Queen's like, oh, like, can I borrow like a ribbon or something? Like she takes like her hair uh, scrunchie or whatever and like puts it in her hair and like puts her hair in like a bun, if I remember correctly. It's like, oh, does this look better? So it's a similar vibe. Like I said, it's just that one little thing that's different. Uh, but even that lady, and this is a conversation that's not in the webtoon where the lady's like, oh, wow, Queen's not actually the same. Like, she's like, actually, she's actually kind of kind. It's like, yeah, she wasn't all that way. And it flashes back to a meeting some time ago where she chewed out an employee for being like eight minutes. Like, it's, it's the business thing of when you're wasting, like, you wasting your time is wasting all our time. It's like, right, go ahead. Like, here's this car. Go ahead and put it on your display, but I'm sure it's not going to be great. So, and afterwards, it just leave. So, the lady didn't even put on her thing and just, like, left, you know? And it's like, yeah, next person up, like, Queen was very cold and just kind of, like, whatever about it, you know? It's just very mean in a way that, you know... I don't know if they... I feel like at the number five, like, is it in, like, five years? I don't know if they specifically said that was, like, five years ago or that I made that up. Like, I, I think they said that was, like, some time ago that whole thing happened, but I, I, I could be mistaken, so. But it's like, yeah, just kind of further proof of just, like, how much Queen has changed and progressed, you know? And I think it's even uh, sweet how she stops by, like, you know, that co coffee and ice cream place and ends up running to Tion, obviously doesn't know it's him, and she wants to talk to the rabbit for advice about... It's like, right, you remind me of my pink rabbit. And just like, even if you can't talk, I know, like, I, it's probably like, just to keep up, like, the mascot thing, you're probably not allowed to talk. Uh, but Queen's like, if you could just listen, that'd really help. And she basically talks about her situation with Tion. It's like, yeah, I want a friend. I have a friend who, like, keeps feeling like he owes me. And I just want to help him without him feeling like 
he owes me and she doesn't know like how to really broach that and approach that situation and Tian obviously like it's important for him to hear this because she did buy him a coffee so I was almost wondering I'm like oh is she going to find out it's Tian under there the entire time but still no but even he's like wait am I the person that she was talking about and it's just it kind of I think puts things in perspective for him where it's like yeah she wants to help you she just doesn't know how to really go about it especially when you want to constantly because she's like I don't like she had brought it up previously in a different episode maybe at last episode or episode before last she just assumes like right Tion's like me he doesn't like being indebted to someone or owing someone but it's like for her it's like I just don't want him to feel like he needs to like pay me back for it it's just like I'm helping out because I care and I, I want to help you know so and it's just like it for for Tion I think it's just also his like the way he's kind of handled things for the past few years of like giving back to like, you know, once again, he, he doesn't like feeling indebted to people because it feels wrong. It's like, you have to kind of pay back whatever is kind of given to you. And he almost, I think it's queen being who queen is. That makes him feel even more guilty about it. I think to some extent, or just once again, they're both trying to figure this whole situation out for themselves, you know? But um, aside from all that, we get into the actual training itself um, I love that how is there being like, oh, can I be trained too? And they're like, sure, Zhao means like, I'll train you in my free time if I have any. Because like, all the attention is going towards Tion because it's about him getting his, like, settling the score, getting his revenge. Uh, so they, like, get, like, him doing, like, they got how doing, like, what, 300, 200 or 300 push-ups. And then he also has to do, like, 50 uh, lifts or whatever, so... But, like, Tion's in the ring, and he has to, obviously, the whole thing straight from the webtoon, too, learn how to keep your eyes open. It's fundamental in a fight. Um, I think it's an interesting thing. They don't focus on this, but obviously, because she does Taekwondo, Zhao Mi's main thing is using her feet. But they showcase she can use her hands, too, which is interesting, because, obviously, like, in a hit fist-to-fist, -fist, like, that's an element of... Dao Dao's character in the webtoon is she added that to her repertoire just like once again like eventually like Mu Young added like stuff other than just straight up traditional boxing to her repertoire because it's like because these well that's getting into spoilers and I'm sure the TV show the show will handle like eventually get to that so I'll talk about it more then but uh that, the fact that she's good with her hands despite everything they and they don't make much of a point it's just like it is what it is I mean it also makes sense like my feet are my specialty and like me using my feet right now when you're learning boxing it won't really help you much so I might as well like you know incorporate punches and kind of help you with that so and she's just kind of worried about Tian being like oh like Yanan like stop like going so hard in the paint like like use less power um but it's like yeah Yanan's taking this seriously as you'd expect it and Xiao Mi's just because because it's Tian it's like oh please be a little rough, softer with him don't be so rough you know but he finally does kind of get the the hang of things and ends up keeping an eye on her and ends up dodging one of her attacks and it's like yeah I love that while like Howe's over there working out it's like yeah come over here and make sure you get some water and they ask him about like does he have any fighting experience and he's like, like I trained a little bit but as I got older I didn't really I stopped and it's like well we I don't know like the last that memory of him and his dad that had to be like some was definitely some time ago but he was still older at that point he wasn't still a little kid so I don't know if that was like supposed to be him during high school I mean maybe that wasn't the same because like he was still training with his dad a little bit but I don't think it's to the same extent of the straight up tr like that was just because that once again that was also incorporating kicks so that was probably other stuff mixed in too but like, actual boxing itself, he probably hadn't trained with that since he was a kid. But he's probably done other exercises, too, like, as we got in that flashback, so. But they're like, oh, why'd you stop? But before he could even answer, like, they shifted over to the house situation of him, like, finishing the push-ups and then going into the lifts. So, but then it's also, like, the whole, like, yeah, let's, uh, let's, oh, you're, you're, you're using part, like, because of boxing, you're using, like, certain muscles you normally wouldn't use. So they're probably sore. And so... Yanan is like touching his leg and everything which uh Zhao Mi is like nope stop it don't use this as an excuse to like it's pretty hard to like talk and grope him at the same time isn't it you know just using an excuse for her to take over uh which is a thing that the thing that does kind of happen in the webtoon like when Dao Dao kind of still has a thing for Jegu like she makes excuses to kind of touch him and like that I don't feel like that's 100% Yanan's like 
perspective in that moment. I think she was just legitimately helping out. But I think, because she also knows how Queen really feels about him. So I think there's an extra motive of like, yeah, this keep Zhao Mi and her flirtation away. And just her making every excuse like, oh my god, we're trading now. Now did you learn how to dodge from Yana? And it's like, oh, here are my kisses, uh... Tian and he's like, whoa, 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 what are you, what are you doing? It's like, shouldn't I be dodging attacks and stuff? And so she's like, yeah, pretend this is my kiss, and it hits him. And she's like, oh my god, Tian. And she tries to rush over to help him, but he immediately gets up, and it's like every chance she gets, it kind of gets ruined, um, because they've got less than a month to prepare Tian. The whole point was like, right, we're going to get him to at least like half of Yanon's strength before this this coming you know tournament and to get him prepared and in, in, in that much time frame and see what he's able to accomplish so it's definitely going to be interesting to see where the next episode ultimately ends up taking us going forward with all of this but really that's all i wanted to talk about to the next time we meet be happy be safe live life to the fullest and enjoy it good day and goodbye